I will just be showing you how to trade boom and crash like you literally own the market. Hello guys, hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my channel. So this is Mr. P, this is Mr. P. Guys, guys, I will just be showing you exactly how to trade boom and crash because i noticed that a lot of people they're actually so so confused as regards how boom and crash actually works because trading on boom and crash charts is actually so so easy right but i will just be showing you exactly how you can do it because a lot of people see trade boom and crash as easy as it is people just to make some little errors and some other things just like that i will just be showing the right way to actually trade boom and crash so that you can actually prevent a lot of these errors and just keep hitting the market like you actually created the market just like that so if you're actually new to this particular channel guys just remember to hit the subscription button hit on like button and also remember to turn your notification bell and share this video so more people can actually gain access to this video just like that and if you're not part of the telegram mr pfx university just check down below there the link is actually free the telegram channel is actually free just hit to actually join uh, mr pfx university just like that because this particular month we're actually running something called operation withdrawals when we are hitting the market back to back and the mission is just to keep withdrawing withdrawing from the market just like that so not to waste so much time guys let me show you how to actually Actually go about it now guys now i will try as much as possible to explain this stuff as easy as easy as possible and as slow as possible right because i actually want you to get this stuff right the mission is to make sure that at the end of this video you've actually understood exactly how boom and crash actually works so that you can actually go into trades and just kill and destroy the markets just like that back to back guys back to back okay guys now first of all uh we'll actually just be starting with a crash 1000 so we'll just look at crash 1000 after which uh we'll actually just look at boom 500 because we can't start looking at all the boom and crash right because all the charts they actually work alike so we'll just take one example from crash and one example from boom okay so it's good now if we actually look at this particular stuff guys the first thing i actually want you to do anytime you want to trade on boom and crash is go on daily time frame so simply run down to daily time frame guys don't go on one minute time frame first go on daily time frame right now you run down to your daily time frame now get into your daily time frame you want to check the overall trade what's the overall trade of this market these are spots and these are the other spots right so we can actually track this stuff out okay okay let me track that out okay cool Right now, after tracking this stuff out, what do you actually see? You actually notice that this particular stuff is actually on a downtrend, right? It's actually on a downtrend, telling you that, hey, no matter what you do on this trade, you don't want to buy, right? You don't want to buy, right? Boom and crash is so straightforward. It's just so, so straightforward, right? It's so straightforward. No matter what you want to do here, you don't want to buy. If you buy and you lose your cash, it's not because the market was bad to you. It's because you are trying to trade against the trade, right? Just like that. Now, having seen that this market is dropping down, the next thing I do now is go my four hours time frame. Boom. Now, I'm in my four hours time frame. So let's actually check now. Our line is still here. Nothing happened to our line. Our line is still there, right? Good. Now, what do you will notice? You notice that this stuff is still going down from this particular spot. But at this particular range here on the lower time frame, for us time frame, is actually on a consolidation, right? That is it. Look at it, guys. It came to this plot. It did some consolidation. Let me draw that out for you. It did some consolidation here. Let me just show you that. It did some consolidation here, right? After which it dropped down because it's on a downtrend, right? And then it started another consolidation here, another consolidation here. So what are you expecting it to do again to drop down, right? Because it's on a downtrend. So if you check now, this stuff is actually on a second level of consolidation like this, right? Consolidated here and boom, consolidating here now. So what I want to do, guys, is this. Now, having tracked this particular stop, it, it was consolidating here. Now it's consolidating here. I want to leave my four hours now and go straight to my 15 minutes. Like, you don't have to. Well, you can go on one hour if you want or 30 minutes, but usually just rush down to your 15 minutes because like just go there guys <laughs> so you go on your 15 minutes right after getting to your 15 minutes we we want to actually see uh what we are having on our 15 minutes time frame now let's actually just quickly check that out okay okay i'm trying to use the the what they call it longer methods to actually scroll to this chat right okay but uh in checking this out now this is actually what we're having uh let me actually let's try zooming this stuff 
out of it, right? Let's zoom it out of it. Now this is what we're having. This was actually the consolidation that we actually just mapped out. Remember, now we can actually see the entire chart. What do we know now? We know first of all that it's on a downtrend. That's the first thing. Number two, we know that it was actually having a consolidation before, right? And number three, it broke out of the consolidation. Number four, it's currently on another consolidation. Now we know four things. Now we know a lot about the chart. So what do I need to do now? Very easy. I just need to watch out for this guy because it's on a consolidation. And it actually hits two spots before on a downtrend, telling us that it's possible for it to leave this consolidation and go to the under consolidation spot, right? Now, if it does that, do I want to buy? No, I don't want to buy. Why? Because it's on a downtrend. So what I want to do is I wait for it to come and hit this particular level because boom and crash, guys, is just all about patience. If you are patient on boom and crash, you, you can trade for a whole week without losing a single trade. Like an entire week, you won't lose a single trade because boom and crash follow specific rules. It, like if you just follow the rules, you are good to go. So I just wait now, right? For it to hit the spot, right? Uh, I just wait. Okay, let, let, me, let me zoom. Uh, let me zoom in a bit now. Again, okay, let me just zoom in a bit so you can actually see that. Right now, I just wait for it to come hit this level. When it hits this level, I wait again. Now, when it hits this level, boom and crash will, will come back itself. It, you won't even force it. It will just hit. Okay, let, let's actually look at what we're having here. If we check this part, we're seeing a minor uh, what okay, a minor trend or what we call a subtrend here, right? Telling me that when this particular stuff hit this spot, it has a maximum spot to hit here. That's it, right? But this, uh, I'm not concerned about this. I'm more concerned about it's coming back down, right? So what I want to do is I just want to have patience for, for this crash 1000 to come back down because it will, it will, right? It just has to drop back down to around the spot. When it drops down to around the spot, it closes below it. It's that easy. I just simply go into the trade on a sell, right? I go into the trade on a sell. Now I go and check the previous low. What was the previous low? This is the previous low. First take profit. What was the second previous low? This was it. Second take profit. What was the third previous low? This was it. Fourth take profit. Where's the fifth? This is it. Fifth take profit. The sixth will, of course, now be my last uh, spot for consolidation. So what I might do, I'm actually trading the consolidation and I'm following the trend, which is a downtrend. It's that easy, guys. It's just that easy. Now, let's actually just check out uh, for, let's actually just check out now for what you call it now, for our boom 500. Let's, let's actually check it out now again and actually just see what we're having. Same thing. I go on my daily time frame, no matter the boom or crash or boom 1000, crash 1000, boom 500, crash 500, boom 300, crash 300, any crash and boom, they all work with the same pattern. I go on my, uh, what I call it, my daily time frame again. And now I check, what am I having here? Let's, let's zoom out a bit again. Boom, what am I having? It was going down and then it started pushing up now, right? You can see it is going on an uptrend. So I just want to come here and just map out my uptrend, right? It's going on an uptrend, right? Just like this. This is how it's moving currently. It's moving on an uptrend. So what do I know? I don't want to sell on this trade. I want to only buy, meaning I want to only catch spikes. That's all I want to do. I want to only catch spikes on this trade. So even if you want to trade on one minute time frame, don't, don't try selling. Why would you sell when it's on an uptrend, right? Boom and crash is just so easy. Just, just follow the rule and you're good to go, right? Now, we've seen it on daily time frame. Now, let's go on four hours time frame, just like we did on our, on our crash 1000. Same rule, like nothing new, guys, nothing new. Boom and crash is always following the same method every single day. No, it's going on an uptrend. I don't want to fight against it. I don't want to fight against boom, boom 500 now. I only want to buy. Now, I'm on my uh, 4 hours time frame. What do I do? I simply check it out again. Where is it at? It was consolidating. Guys, it's how boom and crash works. It was consolidating here on 4 hours time frame. Just the way it was happening on crash 1000. Look at it, guys. It was consolidating here. And now, look at, let, let me just map out the two levels for you. Boom. You can see it. It was consolidating here. Eh? It pushes up. Here's this level. Pushes uh, back up. Pushes down. Pushes back up. And finally, it breaks out, right? It's just what we saw just now, guys. It's just what we saw. There's, there's nothing new, right? It's just what we saw. Now, after seeing this stuff, it was consolidating here. Eh? And then it broke out, right? And started pushing up. Now, I know that there was a consolidation. And now, it broke out. So, I want to now go straight to my 15 minutes time frame again. That's just it. Now I'm on my 15 minutes time frame. Now let, let, let's actually check that out. Okay, let's use the long method again. 
uh, in scrolling back to the beginning of our chat again, let's actually use the long door. Okay, because uh, you know I can just hit on forward and if you to go forward, right? But uh, let's actually just use the long method. So uh, if you know, we almost there, we almost there. now we're here. But what do I do now? I actually have to stop like this, right? Now this was the consolidation we mapped out just now around this spot, and now we saw that it's pushing up, right? It's pushing uh it's pushing like this, right? It's pushing up. Now, what do I want to do? I'm on my 15 minutes time frame. What I can do now is to map another sub trade, right? Now, I already know it's going up. Let's check out what we know. We checked on our daily. We saw that it's on an uptrend. It's going up, right? We checked on our four hour time frame. We noticed that is actually it was actually on a consolidation. After which it took off out of that consolidation and it started pushing up with crazy momentum, right? Now we went to our 15 minutes time frame and now we can see it so clearly that it's pushing up. Now these are all the things we know. So what do I do now? I map out my sub trade within my trade. Which is this? Uh, okay, let, 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 let me draw that out. Well, okay, cool. Now, this is actually what we're having. You can see that this stuff is going up. Like, it's pushing up, right, from our subtrend. You can still see it. It's pushing up. It's not a consolidation. It's pushing up. So, what do I do? I just simply need to wait. That, that's all I need to do. Boom and crash is so easy. I just need to wait. Since it's on an uptrend, I just simply need to wait for it to come back because it will. It will. It might not within one or two or three hours, but it will come back to the spot, right? When it comes back to the spot, I just want to wait after which it closes above it like this around the spot. Then it starts pushing back up. Is that easy? I just go in like that and I'm good to go. I catch the buy and that's it. Now, can this stuff continue pushing up from here? Yes, it can also. So what do I, how do I know it will continue pushing up from this particular spot? I simply come and map up to this particular stuff. That's why I told you it's also possible to go uh, on your five or even your one minute time frame. Now, I can go on my one minute time frame now and go back to search for it and boom. Now, if I search for it here, now it's clear that it's actually was having a consolidation because boom and crash, it repeats same thing. You see, this was the consolidation now, five minutes time frame, boom. This was the consolidation here again. Consolidated, hit this particular spot, started another consolidation, look at it again, let me show you. This is the consolidation, it's pushing up and down, hit this level, goes down. So what do you expect is it can drop back down like it's already doing, right? It draws back down and then pushes up. So what I'm expecting this stuff to do is to now come to my higher high, which is at this spot, right? Breaks this higher high, closes above it. Now I know it wants to continue going up. Then I place in trade. So as it is now, do I go into any trade? No, why is going down? I don't want to sell because it's on an uptrend. So it hits this level. Then I wait for it to push above it to close above it. After which I know it's not pushing back up like this, right? It pushes back up like this. And then when it pushes, hits the spot and closes above it, then I know it wants to keep flying. And then I stock in some more buys just like that. Guys, the entire stuff about boom and crash is just patience and following all I'm telling you. Follow the trend. After the trend, it goes and starts consolidating. After it leaves that consolidation, it's going back through the trend again. And it's just how it works. It's how all boom and crash chart works. It follows the trend, hits a consolidation, leaves the consolidation, and continue moving. That's just it. That's a summary of what I'm trying to say. So, guys, we're actually just able to check it out, right? So, you actually just saw how it's working, right? Now, you just have to follow all the rules. Go on your daily time frame. Let me just give you a summary. Go on your daily time frame. Check the major trend of the market. Right. If it's on an uptrend, please don't sell. If it's on a downtrend, please don't buy. Right. That's like it's so easy. Right. But but that's just how it works. Right. It follows strict rules. Boom and crash. Now, after that, go on your four hours time frame. Check out the places where consolidation actually happened and check if that market is actually on the consolidation at that point or not. Right. If it breaks out of that consolidation upwards and it's on an uptrend, you know, you can stock in buys. If it breaks down on that consideration and it's on a downtrend, then you know you can stock in sales. Don't buy when you need to sell or sell when you need to buy, guys. That way, you will lose your cash, right? Now, after that, you want to go on your 15 minutes time frame to actually look for an entry point, right? That way, you can actually see a good, good entry point and things like that. After which, you can then go on your 5 minutes or even your 1 minute time frame to take your trades and place your take profits like that, right? After doing all of this analysis. So that's just how it's class of actually goes, guys. So uh, guys, don't forget, if you're actually new to this YouTube channel, just remember to hit the subscription button, hit the like button, and also remember to turn your notification bell and share this video so more people can actually gain access to this video, guys. If you're also not part of the Telegram channel, 
just take down there, guys. The link to the Telegram channel is just there. Mr. PFX University. They will actually drop crazy signals that you can actually just use to mine for the market. Crazily, guys. Crazily, guys. So this month, we're actually running something called Operation Withdrawals, where we are making sure that over 90% of all the members of Mr. PFX University just start cashing out on the market just like that, guys. So that's just how it goes, guys. So bye from me. I'm Mr. P. Peace.